Hello, my name is Dieter van Straten. Um, I'm from South Africa originally. Um, I'm living in Dubai at the moment. I, I'm studying law. Um, I hope to go and specialize in family law. Um, my experience on this trip to Thailand has it started a bit different. Um, coming, uh, not coming from the US side, but coming from, du from Dubai. In fact, I actually came from South Africa via Dubai to Thailand. Um, we, I had an internship there and then only a few weeks before I knew I was coming on the trip, I was told. And I had to get ready in a few days and everything. So we also, I also landed in Thailand a little earlier, um, but uh, I was greeted by um, Ong, Pastor Ben's wife, and they they gave me a place to stay while I waited for the rest of the team. Uh, and then I met them at the airport and on the bus to the first um, to the next airport, <laughs> one airport to the next. We we got to know each other for the first time. They had known each other for a bit because of training and things, but for me it was the first time meeting them. It was also the first time seeing Vainant again in many, many years. So it was an exciting new experience for me, um, being in a new country as well, being the first time in Thailand. And I, and I will honestly say, I've made a, from that moment where we had no contact and didn't know who each other were, Names were, diff were hard to learn and everything to suddenly be becoming a small little family on this trip. It's with uh, Vainant leading us and guiding us. It's been an absolute experience that trying to explain it doesn't do it justice. It really doesn't. Um, because yes, we, we got to see the markets and everything of Thailand, but the thing that really, really made the trip special was the actual interaction with the people, with the, the kids in the north, um, going to, from school to school, um, dealing out cookies, um, and seeing, just seeing the, what it meant for, to the kids, seeing what the message actually could, could bring for them. It was an absolute pleasure to play with them and everything, but get, when we got down to the nitty gritty and actually gave the word, just seeing one or two faces really focusing and really getting into it and involved and the seed really being planted. It was an absolute, that made everything worth it. It, this, as I said, I can't do it justice. Going from that and then suddenly going to the college um, students where at first I was really nervous because they're our age, they're my age. And so now to suddenly be teaching them English and spreading and telling them about God and spreading the word of God. It was, it was one of those moments where you, where you get really anxious and go like, what am I going to say? But the team, we helped each other and we guided each other. We helped each other with the games. We helped each other with the songs. And that kind of really broke the ice um, so that we could get down to it and really focus on why we went there and that was to to tell them about God tell them that Jesus loves them that he died for their sins even though they don't know it yet so and my experience with the college students was really there was a you could see a few faces as I said just with the, as with the kids as well where you could see the gears turning and they were really thinking about it they were really considering maybe there is another side to life that I haven't seen yet because they saw the love in our eyes and the sparkle in our eyes that God has given us and I think honestly the way we interacted with them and the way we interacted with each other really they saw something special they really saw something special and you could see a few of them thinking but I want that and then they would come and ask you a few questions on the side or after the group sessions and stuff. They'd take you to the side and ask you a few questions. And that really, that is reward enough already. I am of the, uh, my firm belief is that we don't force anyone to believe, but we are there to spread the word, to introduce them to God, to introduce them to Jesus. 
and Jesus and God will take 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 hold of the reins reins after that. We're there just to plant the seed. The growth will come with God. Their curiosity will bring them to the Bible and they will think they will read the Bible, think of the stories and think of what's how God has been in their lives, whether they have known it or not. They have he has been holding them in his hands. They have been he does love them no matter what.